Continue to keep it clean. Sometimes to really appreciate something in its presence, you got to go back to its past. And that's exactly what we did this morning because I was just thinking, like, man, Geno Stone is having an amazing season, and he hasn't even started every game. But when he has started, he's made a big impact. Um, I was watching the uh, the Punchline podcast last night, and he was talking about where every game with Geno Stone has a pick, the Baltimore Ravens won. And is that a coincidence? Hey, who knows? But Geno Stone keep getting picks. And when you get a pick, it'll guarantee a Ravens win. But anyway, um, I was just thinking about Geno Stone. Like, man, his career has just been a wild trajectory because, of course, he was drafted by the Ravens. And then the Ravens ended up cutting him. He went to the Houston Texans and the Ravens brought him back. And then he was a free agent and the Ravens brought him back again. And now he is balling. Um, and he like wasn't even guaranteed this opportunity, but it happened because Marcus Williams ended up getting hurt. So I was just thinking, I was like, you know what? Let me um let me look back at seeing what Team Keep It Clean was saying about Geno Stone when he got drafted. So I went to our video from April 25th of the year 2020, uh, and it's called The Ravens Draft Iowa Safety Geno Stone. And I was just sc scrolling through the comment section. And I was looking at everybody was saying, so one person said, this dude on tape is the real deal. He's definitely going to make the team. So, okay. Somebody else said, great instincts, a hitter and smart. However, he has average safety speed. He ran a 4-6, played a lot of zone and had some bad moments in man coverage. Can wing scheme him into a package and allow him to diagnose plays and jump them? Value pick, but a developmental project. Well, we see how he's developed over time. But that stood out to me because he said, hey, he has average safety speed. Now, on here, when, when Geno gets a pick, like, we be making fun of him. But Geno Stone's still a baller, though, man. Uh, we be making fun of how Geno Stone, he a little, he a little bit, so he ain't the fastest safety in the world. Oh, uh, but th like this guy, he he was on the money with it. Um, somebody else said he's making the roster. His IQ is off the chart. Now, something that I had said in the video uh, that PFF mentioned is that they had a second round grade on him. They had a second round grade on Geno Stone, but he didn't get drafted till the seventh round. Uh, so I guess PFF they they wouldn't they knew something. Um, somebody also asked, oh, Engraven, do you eat Publix chicken? And I, I must have been talking about food in the video. But anyway, uh, somebody else said, I keep hearing he's good. Not the most athletic, but good ball skills and good football instincts. That's spot on. That, that's really spot on about Geno Stone. Uh, Geno Stone is in a great position. Uh, Geno Stone is a great player. He catches interceptions and plays with leverage. He can play in the NFL. Dude was a ball at Iowa. Loved that pick. See, look at that. Somebody else said solid tackler. Very good pick. Probably my favorite pick. He has a very smart, instinctive safety. This kid can play. I expect him to make the 53-man roster. Uh, way to rebound Eric DaCosta. Somebody said it's a steal. Uh, this part right here. I said, Geno Stone has al only allowed nine first downs in coverage since 2017, according to Pro Football Fo Focus. That's the l fewest in college football. He was also graded as a second-round prospect by PFL. Okay, confirming that part that I said. Um... Oh, I was saying back then in, in this video, I was like, because we had Earl Thomas at the time. I think we had um, Anthony Levine at the time. We had uh, Deshaun Elliott at the time, too. So I was saying, hey, that Geno Stone probably, he might make the practice squad. He might be on a practice squad because uh, the Ravens just had depth and safety. Uh, but somebody said he won't be on a practice squad. He's a problem. He'll be playing in the dime packages. Hey, it took some time, but look, look where we at now. So th th this is just great to see. Somebody says steal of the draft. Um, good point. Gino is in a great spot, and, and I already like his play in college. This is a good pick. Um, somebody else said, watch this man's tape, man. He's definitely going to be on a 53-man roster. He has amazing instincts. Uh, I absolutely love this kid, man. High IQ type player. High energy. See ball, get the ball type of guy. He will be a starter here in a few years. He is another Chuck Clark, but more athletic in my opinion. You heard that part? Uh, not, not the last part, uh, but the, the, the first part. Uh, he will be a starter here in a few years. This was three years ago. This was three years ago. So he was spot on, man. He was spot on. Uh, so I, I, I love it. He said, um, let's see what else they, they, they said about him. Uh, he said, oh, somebody said move him to uh, outside linebacker maybe. Okay, I ain't reading that way. Uh, oh, engraving is a fat boy, low-key love. <laughs> so, yeah, I was, yeah, I was definitely talking about food uh, in this video. Uh, but anyway, I love that pick. He's a smart guy. Um, the, oh, ooh, this was my favorite one right here by Black Panther 1013. Somebody said, this guy is Ed Reed Jr., they said that about Geno Stone three years ago. They said, this guy is Ed Reed Jr. 
<laughs> and now look, he got the same record that Airy got. Five interceptions through eight games. They're like, hey, hey, all Geno Stone got to work on now. They just got to start running some laps or so. He got to get his speed up. That's all he got to do because he he be getting the picks and and that that's the most important thing. But now if he could add to returning them too, ooh. But getting them, that's that's good enough for now because that turns the ball over. That takes away points from the opposing team's offense, and that gives your offense another opportunity to go down the field and score. So just shout out to Geno Stone. But I just really um. This video was to not only highlight Geno Stone and, and, and to highlight the people who they knew. They, they, they saw something, they knew it, and they called a lot of the stuff that's going on right now. Uh, it was to highlight Geno Stone and, and just the amazing season that he's been having thus far. And again, like we keep saying, Marcus Williams, I don't think he's going to play tomorrow. But even when he comes back, Geno Stone got to be out on the field. 24 set. Do not. Geno Stone can't come off the field, Ravens. He, you cannot take him off the. F it's too late. It's too late. You can't take him off the field, man. Marcus Williams. He, my opinion, not that there's necessarily backups. I know, yeah, Ravens gonna have three safeties on the field and whatnot. So all of them gonna be out there. Geno Stone, Marcus Williams, Kyle Hamilton. But now, Marcus Williams needs to be lower than Geno Stone on the depth chart. Hey, it's it's a tough business, but like. Yeah. Anyway, uh, but yeah, they'll both be out there. Both be dropping back and whatnot in the cover. Yeah. The, so all three of them will be out there. And Kyle Hamilton, you know, he be in a box. He be at slot. He be at nickel and all that. He be blitzing. He pass rush. All that stuff. So they they they, they got it covered. But anyway, um, I, I made this video to not only highlight uh how amazing Geno Stone has turned out, but really to highlight y'all, um, because. I y'all know that I hate one thing I, I absolutely hate with a passion is when people discredit fans. They discredit what fans say. They discredit what fans see just because a fan is a fan. Um, some people are like, oh, if you were that smart, then you would be a GM. If you were that smart, why are you not coaching in the NFL? If you were that smart, why are you not playing in the NFL? Um, and I, I just hate hearing stuff like that. Some people try to discredit fans because. A fan may have never played a lick of uh, of Little League or high school or college or professional, like, and they'll discredit them. I, I just don't like seeing that. Now, that that's me right there. I never, never, never played organized football. Not a day in my life. Not at all. Uh, the only thing I played was street football with my friends and stuff. Never played organized football. Not at all. And people could discredit me all they want to. I don't mind when they discredit me. But, because half the time I don't know what I'm talking about anyway. But if I just hate seeing other people discredited. I, I don't like seeing that. Um, it, it, it just really, it's something that just really always bothered me. Um, because I, it, it just made me feel like it was other people trying to make themselves feel better or feel greater or make themselves almost intimidate people or whatnot. Oh, you never played in football? Oh, you, you didn't play on this level? Then you don't know what you're talking about. Come on, man. No man, that's I ain't like that. But just going back, I, I I am glad to have looked back at that video and being like, wow, man, like team keep it. Y'all were spot on, spot on, and it was just so nice to see. It was refreshing. I'm like, oh, they they got it. These, these are some real analysts in the comment section. These are real film people in the comment section, and they know their stuff. Cause again, and you you can go back to the video too. The video the video is is on this channel and it's called Ravens Draft Geno Stone. That's it. Ravens Draft I no Ravens Draft Iowa Geno Stone. And yeah, man, it's 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 just nice. And you can scroll through the comments yourself and you can look at all that and be like, wow, they got it. They got it. Now the the road to get here again. It was a little. Because again, Geno Stone, they drafted him today. Like, hold up, didn't they cut it? Y'all know, but and it, it took some time, but he made it, and he's making it, and and now Geno Stone is getting ready, and I'm happy for him too. I, I just I love seeing this with people in my personal life. I, I love seeing the people because I don't know half of these Baltimore Ravens. I know who they are, but I don't know them. Well, a couple of, but well, I don't know them like that. But anyway, I'm always happy to see um, when people, they're getting ready to make a big jump, a big jump in life. Um, and Geno Stone has made a big jump in his career. Uh, but now that big jump that he made in his career is about to help him out in a big way monetarily. 
he is about to make a, a significant amount of money, much more than he's making right now, much more than probably he's made in throughout his entire career. And he doesn't even have to be one of the highest paid safeties. Will he end up being one of the highest paid safeties? It To me, it all depends on how the rest of the season goes. If he keeps this up, even like, again, he could, and I don't expect him to, but he could be done for this year. Like, as far as getting picks, I don't think he will be, but he could be done getting, getting picks for this year, and it, it will have been an amazing year for him. It would have been an amazing year. If I picked, like, that's that's a lot. But I, I don't expect him to be done. Of course, he's going to continue to, to to keep playing and continue to be out there and continue to do what he does. Um, but he is um, he, he set himself up really, really nice. Really, really nice moving forward. Uh, Got to give a huge shout-out, too, to Mike McDonald. Got to give a huge shout-out to Mike McDonald. Because Mike McDonald... He, oh man, remember last year, last year started off a little bit rocky, but again, we got to remember, he was a new defensive coordinator. Uh, the game that sticks out to me the most was uh, week, I think week two, it was week two when we played the Dolphins, and it was like, man, what are we doing? Why is a rookie, why is a rookie cornerback, who didn't play in the Laker preseason, why is a rookie cornerback in clutch time, and crunch time, why is a rookie cornerback on Tyreek Hill, one of the best wide receivers in the game, and the, the best wide receiver on that field? Why, why is a rookie in? Why is a rookie cornerback one on one with Tyreek Hill in the fourth quarter when the Dolphins need a touchdown? Why? What are we doing? Why are we not calling Tyreek? What's that? So that was really frustrating. And there were some moments like that where it's like, "Hey, Mike, what's going on?" But we saw the growth throughout last season with Mike McDonald, and now this season, why I really appreciate Mike McDonald and think that uh, I think he could be gone after this year. Um, is because this season started off no Marlon Humphrey, no Tyus Bowser. Uh, there's been he's been missing. Uh, he's missed Adafi away for some games. He's missed um, uh, David Ajabo uh, for some games. He's uh, he's missed Marcus Williams for some games. Um, Daryl Worley is just getting back. Uh, and there's been more, but uh, Darius Washington, he's gone now, most likely for the season. Um, <coughs> different times, he's been missing a lot of different players, a whole lot of different players on the defense. I know there's more, but I can't think of them off the top of my head. But that defense has still continued to shine. That defense has still continued to be amazing, really. So shout out to uh, Mike McDonald. For just growth For him taking the next step Because we yeah, have players on the field playing But a coach has got a huge part in it too So it's just been really really nice uh, To see It's been really really amazing Just to see the, the forward progress um, Again With Geno Stone specifically With Mike McDonald specifically um, But really with, with Team Keep It Clean I, I just I, I love y'all I really appreciate y'all I, I really do value you all's opinions I value what you all have to say About whatever it is that we're talking about That's why I appreciate hearing from y'all In the comment section so much I appreciate hearing from y'all And even though um, my apologies Because with Instagram If you send me a message on Instagram My Instagram is just, I'm just so backed up with messages on there So do not <coughs> Excuse me Don't think I'm ignoring you If you hit me up on Instagram I'm not ignoring you It just It's tough to get back to messages on there Because I'm just so backed up With messages on there like sometime randomly, yeah, if you hit me up and I, I'm looking at Instagram at that time, hey, I'm, I might hit you back right away, right then and there. But if I ain't looking at it, then it's tough. But Twitter, t Twitter, I'm good on that one. And email. Uh, uh, but anyway, um, I really appreciate all of y'all. I really do. And this video, while again, it was about Geno Stone. I just wanted to let y'all know that you are extremely appreciated. You are extremely valued. If ain't nobody tell you that, I'm telling you that because I, I really do appreciate it. Um, y'all get in the comment section and share whatever it is that we talking about. Y'all share how y'all feel about it and whether you agree, whether you disagree, or talking to each other in the comment section, whether y'all agree or disagree, but it's always love, man. It's always love and it's always respect every single time, every single video. That means a lot to me. So y'all keep that up. Um, we are like question from subscribers. We done. Uh, we ain't got nothing else to talk about now. Like, we're ready for the game tomorrow. 
We ready for the game tomorrow. Ready to see the Ravens take on the Seahawks. You know what? I, I saw something that I, I was like, man, that's disrespectful. Y'all really doing that? I forgot what I was watching. Maybe uh, when I was watching the uh, the Steelers and Titans game, I think. <coughs> that was a good game. Um, but I ain't like the outcome. Because I'm like, come on. I'm like, come on, Will. Will, come on. Yeah, you can throw a touchdown. He, he, he good close, but threw that pick at the end. But um, during, I think it was during that game. They were like, oh, man, uh, the lineup for Sunday is full of great games from start to finish. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, it, it is. Because at 930, oh, I'm looking so much so forward to that game. Uh, it's going to be the Dolphins and the Chiefs. And they playing from, I think, Germany. And then they were like, oh, then at, uh, at 1 o'clock, it's, uh, and I think it was, I think they actually skipped it. I think they was like, oh, no, then it's going to be Cowboys, Eagles. And then it's going to be, is it Bengals and Bills? I think it's Bengals, Bills, yeah. And they like they completely skipped over the, the the Ravens and Seahawks. I'm like, really? Like, hello, what y'all doing? What y'all doing? I forgot. Well, I think it was doing the Thursday night football game. I know some, one of y'all have have saw it too. But anyway, that that should be a really good game, man. But um, that's that, man. I, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Uh, for the Varsity Jackets, man, y'all already know where to go. The link is right down below in the description. And again, you can use code Engraving to get ten percent off. Cause who doesn't love a discount? Um, I will see y'all during the game tomorrow. Should be really fun. It should be really tough. It should be really stressful. Even though, <sighs> hmm, because again, this this is one of them Ravens games where the expectation for me is that it's stressful. Uh, if they pull the Lions, I don't, I don't see them pulling the Lions game in this one. I, I think this is gonna be a good one. I, I really do. Even though the Lions one was a great one, cause they blew them out. I, we wouldn't mind if they blew out the Seahawks too, but I I don't really expect them to. But this, this is going to be real. This, this is going to be a test, man. This this game is going to be extremely tough. You got toughness on offense, toughness on defense. Uh, you got to go against Tyler Lockett, DK Metcalf, Jackson Smith, and the Jigba. Uh, you got Geno. I was about to say Geno Stone. You got Geno Smith, um, His the resurrection of his career, man. So shout out to him because I remember back when well, he was a second-round pick for the Jets, I want to say, and it obviously ain't work out there. <coughs> and I thought that he was done. I thought that that was a wrap, but – you know, so he said, "Nope, y'all ain't writing me off." Shout out to DeAndre Hopkins too, but um, I said, "No, yeah, I ain't doing that." And he been doing this thing, so shout out to him. And then on defense, oof. So yeah, it's gonna be tough, man. It's gonna be really, really tough, but it's gonna be fun. And hopefully, the Ravens come out on top. Hopefully, they be clicking, and hopefully, they just they shock us all with how well they play tomorrow. 